Good evening, folks. It's Farmer Phil coming to you live from uh, Lapham Peter Farm in uh, in self isolation, I might add. And this is my own public service announcement for you uh, to help you cope with one of the indirect consequences of self isolation during the COVID nineteen pandemic. No, I'm not talking about going to talk about COVID nineteen itself, and nor am I going to talk about going stir crazy at home while you are stuck in your house. But rather, I'm going to talk about self-defense as a result of your self-isolation at home. Uh, to be blunt, I'm talking about self-preservation as tempers flare up at the home. And they're going to... Oh, I knew I should have used a frying pan. <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. Um, as they are going to, as they already have. And, and that was mild. Uh, but, you know, you have to be able to deal with this. So this is what this public service announcement is all about. It's going to give you some hints on how you can deal with this kind of stress that's going on. So being relatively newlywed, um, we've only been married, uh, and that and I've only been married a year and a half. Um, that was a year and a half of uh, bliss and tears uh, of joy, of course. Um, yeah, but, the, right. <laughs> but truly, this is the first time that we've had to uh, be with each other 24-7 one-on-one -on -one for more than 48 hours. So this is offering all sorts of, well, it's a new experience, but it's also offering all sorts of uh, challenges to the both of us. Um, and we have to learn to deal with it, of course. Um, so I'm gonna offer these tips to you um, to survive at home. Um, They're applicable to either you and your spouse and anyone else, especially if you have kids at home, which, which doesn't apply to us right now. So first of all, some ground rules. Set some ground rules um, and be prepared for the likelihood of the consequences of any transgressions, such as like ch changing, ow, changing um, the channel on the TV without permission. Um, so during alone hostilities, what I can suggest is that you and your spouse sit down and make up some ground rules for the house. Call it a COVID-19 Magna Carta, so you will, uh, if you will, for the duration of, of your self-isolation. And that's what I would propose for you. Second, um, you should remove any potential weapons from the home. And these could be anything from sharp pointed objects like that. That's a knife and that should not be there. Um, oh, a skillet, which can do a real number on you. And any tools you might have in the workshop and... Uh, no. Oh, okay. So that's the kind of thing. And uh, also, in case if you have instruments, you should probably deal with them too. And I'm just going to take you for a little stroll and I'll show you. This is, uh, these are all potential weapons here. Like, you know, whether it's drumsticks or the, because they can, can really hurt you. So I guess this room's going to have to be locked up in the very near future. Now, point number three has to do with armor and defending yourself so you can never be too well protected so there are a lot of things around the house that you can use to protect yourself you know whether it's a face mask air protectors the ever important jock strap really is important a shield some kind of thing to stop the blows now i will just say one thing about ear protectors though that you should know they can work for you and against you, so they can keep the noise down. But you're supposed to sneak up on you, which isn't a good thing. Early warning. Use everything available to you as a early warning device, such as family pets, a bell around your dog's neck to let you know of the approach of your spouse works a good thing, especially if your dog's really a unicorn. Stack systems work as well, such as tripwires, and they can be really helpful so you aren't surprised. Aha! The possible alternative to social distance yourself from your spouse in your home, um, be it for a few hours, a day, a couple of days a week, or even longer, there are some things available to you. Do you have a dog house? You can go out in the dog house. Do you have a chicken coop or a greenhouse or a shed? You can go there. Don't forget the garage. You could build a fort in your house. So you have all these things available to you. Don't forget, the most important, the back of your car. Can you see me? Okay. So, like I said, don't, don't forget the back of the car. I mean, this is actually pretty comfortable here. I've got space for the dog. I've got 
my little bar set up. Oops, I forgot my notches in the house. I've got my tablet. Make sure you keep something up your sleeve. I've got the remote. So, the ball is in my court. Fight or flight. My real recommendation is going to be run away. Take flight. Uh, run away today to flight away another day. Now, of course, some of you might have uh, issues, mobility issues, which uh, can affect your ability, let alone um, you might not have anywhere to flee to. But give it a shot. So, get here. Oh, Son of a bitch, off all the shaft. You hold the tooth up. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is Farmer Phil. I hope you enjoyed that, and it was meant, you know, tongue in cheek, and uh, and that and I had fun actually uh, doing this. But um, stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay at home. And uh, we'll be back uh, with maybe another episode on how I survived two weeks of marriage in self isolation. This is Farmer Phil signing out.